What happened in there? Uh, nothing. Let's keep going. Bit of a formal introduction. I'm Clara. I'm Devin. That's Pete. Hey, Pete. He's sort of quiet until yeah. you get to know him. Then he won't really shut up. <laughs> All right, we're making it to our first part of our tour. What we're about to walk across is the viaduct. Viaduct kind of serves as the symbol between um, what is academic side of campus and residential side of campus. Um, and so you'll see a lot of folks um, early in the mornings kind of trudging along. Uh, cause sometimes, you know, 8 a.m.s are really early. So as our wonderful walk across this beautiful viaduct comes to a conclusion, um, we're going to find ourselves on the residential side of campus. So we'll have the opportunity to check out some of the dorms. Um, big thing is that we have two styles of housing here on campus. So we have suite style and we have community oh, style. Sorry, there was and We also bugs. have bugs. <laughs> Most of the women's dorms are kind of off of this main road. And so you've got Hearth and Gillespie and Moss and way down there, there's a couple others. And then on this back part of the lot, it's most of the men's housing. Right now, we are in a parking lot. What? There are several parking lots on campus. But fun fact, all of our parking passes are free, which is insane. So I'm just saying, come on, Okay, so now we're just going to show you what an average dorm room looks like on the men's side campus. All the wooden furniture that you see is provided by the school, bed, um, as well as some desks. And then of course, you're more than welcome to even bring in your own desk chairs, your own comfy chairs. Um, same thing, some other people have brought in you know, their own shelving um, for extra storage. Um, you can absolutely have your own fridge and microwave uh, in the dorms. And then you're also allowed to have your own printer in your room as well. Printing is totally free on campus. All right, so one big difference between uh, community style and suite style dorms is Oh, um, also, Claire, you probably don't want to go in here, oh. so I'm just going to take this. Um, is the bathroom. All right, so the way that it works is this bathroom is shared with kind of the whole side of the hallway. You've got your, your sinks, you know, you've got your stalls. You have these wonderful showers, right? And uh, just a peek in one moment. Oh, 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 Pete, I'm, I'm so sorry. What happened in there? Uh, nothing. Let's keep going. Clara, where are we going to head to next? Okay, so next up on the tour is Hearth Hall. Yes. Let us step into the suite. Okay, so with suites, suites have lobbies. And so this is a suite lobby and it comes with like couch, table. couch, chair, table with chairs. And, yeah, and you can decorate it however you want. So oh. you can decorate it as much or as little as you want. Similar to what we saw in Siler Hall, all the wooden furniture that you see is provided by the school. So and it's new -ish. Brand new. So, you've got your beds, you've got your dresser, you've got your desk. Uh, one thing to note, in here, the beds are not bunked, like in Siler they were bunked, so you have the option based on rooms, um, whether you want to bunk your beds or not. Clara, I'm going to let you take this one, okay. because I don't want to go in there. You've had hey, some traumatic experiences today. Okay, so, this is the bathroom in a suite style dorm. You get two stalls and three sinks, three sinks is a blessing. Oh yeah. And so, regular stalls, y'all know what a toilet looks like. And then you've just got a shower. Typical bathroom stuff. So, Devin, when I'm on campus, Hello. Hello. and I'm hungry, what do I do? Well, you can go to one of five eating options on campus, uh, being the cap. So now, we This is the lobby of the cap. Are in the cap. I spend many a minutes here waiting for my friends to arrive before going inside to the buffet. Indeed, indeed. Uh, we won't be able to go inside, but we can talk a little bit about, and you'll be able to see uh, in more detail with some other content that we're going to show you uh, what kind of happens inside the calf. But the biggest thing is that the calf has a lot of variety. Guys, I would just like to take a brief pause to point out the beauty of this campus. <laughs> like. From every angle, you can see mountains. That one's King Mountain, and it's it's a cool place. Um, has a beautiful view of campus. Okay, so where we're going next is the Boswell Campus Center. And so the BCC lawn has a lot of fun events on it. There have been some, like, I think some little concert type things in the past, but also the Patriot Party happens every welcome week. And it's just a party full of patriots. 
Indy. And then even our president, so Dr. Cochran will be down here. He'll set up a tent. You get to shake his hand, get a free t-shirt. Free t-shirts are crucial. Um, like Clara said, there'll be food trucks. So we'll have spike ball, cornhole, or for those of y'all that um, might need a little help, so that call it bags. Uh, it is cornhole though. Sorry to ruin it for you. Ah, oh, Pete, hello. Thank nice you Nice of you us to in. join us. So in the back of the wellness center, there's always a calendar that has events for the month and maybe some different, yeah, some workout of the week that has different exercises that you can do. So now we're in the back part of the Boswell Campus Center, frequently called the BCC. And so with us being on the middle floor, everyone refers to it as the mid BCC. So we're still in the mid BCC area with Starbucks over here. And then the rest of this space is just kind of hangout space. So many times during the week, I'll come in and people will do, be doing homework here, playing games with their friends, just chatting with their friends. And then also, um, some of y'all may have heard, you know, prior to this academic year that we cut tuition by 57%. 57%! 57%. Another thing that the school is doing is we're offering free textbooks to undergraduate on-campus students. Free textbooks to undergraduate students on campus! what she said. All right, let's go upstairs here. Going to head to the top floor of the BCC, which us students love to call the grill. Yeah. It is home to Chick-fil-A and Tosh, two other eating options on campus. <laughs> so we are in the grill. This has a lot of seating for everyone. You don't necessarily have to be eating to be in here, but if you do, that's just a plus. Right now we're crossing Walnut Street. Um, which is just the road between the BCC and the rest of academic campus. It's a one-way street. I feel like that's important. That green roofed building right there is Campus Ministries. Um, and then also the building next door, Nicholson Jones, is uh, home to a few different things. Nicholson Jones is home to the ROTC offices. Uh, so if you're interested in that program, um, that is probably where you'd have a few important meetings. Any instructors in that program would be located. Also, student success offices are in there. So your student success coordinator, who will basically be your academic advisor until you officially declare your major, their offices are located in there. And then the top floor is our esports arena for our esports teams. Awesome. So where are we going to head to next, Clara? I think we're headed to the Gatliff Chapel building. You are correct. Ah, let's head there. Let us move. So anyways, we're walking through the Gatliff Chapel right now. So aside from being the campus chapel, there's a few offices that you want to know as a student. Um, so one of those being the bursar's office, uh, the registrar's office, and then upstairs is the financial aid office. And of course, Gatliff Chapel, the actual chapel is in this building. Um, but aside from being the home of different campus ministry uh, environments, there's also a bunch of events that happen on campus in the chapel as well. Um, so for example, the Campus Activities Board, um, they have something called Spotlight, which is like our version of American Idol. That happens in Gatliff Chapel. So the school does bring in a bunch of different um, fun little entertainers, performers, um, as well as hosts, you know, different ministry things inside of Gatliff Chapel. Now we're here. <laughs> This is Randy Vernon Court inside of the O. Wayne Rollins Center. Um, so I'm just gonna give y'all a good view of kind of what's going on here. Um, so this space will have, of course, our men's and women's basketball teams and their competitions held here. This is also where graduation takes place, uh, walking across that stage right there. Um, also, uh, there's a thing called the Forks Leadership Conference, um, where every spring the school will bring in big names such as you know Shaquille O'Neal, Layla Ali, Terry Bradshaw, just to name a few that have been here as well as a bunch of other names. So that is one thing that happens in here. Um, another thing, Claire, do you want to tell us a little bit just about maybe Pat Serve and Shoes for the Soul, two other oh, events that happen in this space? Those are great ideas. We have two different events. We have more than two events, but these are the two that I'm going to talk about. One is called Shoes for the Soul. And so it's where we bring in a bunch of elementary school students from this area. We have a lot of chairs lined up with buckets of water and we wash their feet um, in the similar fashion to how Jesus washed the feet of his disciples. And so it's humility, it's loving others and putting others above yourself. And it's just an amazing experience, honestly. But also with Pat Serve, once a year we'll have all of the undergraduate students um, who are enrolled in UC Engage We'll have them come in here and they'll break up into different teams and then actually go out into the community and serve. So I know a couple of years ago, I was painting fire hydrants. Um, we've got people cleaning different lawns, painting different things. A really good way to show the community that we care and that we want to give back. Awesome, let's step out into one of Clara's favorite places it's on campus. It's gonna be really loud. Yeah, woo! Oh, and Wendy. 
So our library is currently going through like a, a million dollar renovation. Um, more specifically, seven and a half. Um, but it's gonna be really cool. Right now where we are standing, in front of our lovely renovating library um, is also our wonderful fountain, which is not currently on. All right, so as we're walking, um, we are going to be able to see the Hutton School of Business. I lived in one of the residence halls on one end of campus and then attended classes in this building that is on the polar opposite end, and I could still make it from this building to my residence hall in 10 minutes. Well, we have arrived back at the admissions building, I hope. Um, that we've been able to provide insightful information um, and again I would encourage any of you all by all means please reach out to our admissions office uh, but we appreciate y'all's time mm -hmm. and uh, from Clara and I we just want to wish you all the best of luck on just your college search and we hope that it brings you back to UC. Yeah. Go Pats! <laughs>